Hello guys, welcome to online web tutor presented by Profotech Sessions team. I am Sanjay. We are learning REST API development in PHP using JWT. This is our part number 21. Inside this video, video session guys, we will start over user projects module. In the last video, we had seen about the concept that how can we pass JWT token to other APIs. So in that video, we had seen about two different ways. Either we can post via body parameter or we can pass just by a header parameter. So inside this video, while creating our project, we will pass our JWT token with our header parameter. So if we back to code editor, now go inside users.php. Now this is our class file, main class file which contains about the creation as well as listing methods. Now inside this video, we are going to make a method which basically save the data for our project details. If we back to db, now inside this database we have a table called tbl underscore projects. Now this table needs basically user id, name, description, status. So all these columns we have to pass via code to save any row inside this table. So back to editor. Now if I scroll down. Now let's say that public function and let's say create underscore project. Now inside this, this method is made to create, this is to create projects. Now inside this, we have to write our SQL query. So let's say that project underscore query equal to let's say insert into and the table name we have called this and I think that we have given the name of the table of the project so if I back to top now this is our variable so copy the variable name and also before that if I collapse all these methods just open the last one because we are currently working inside this now here is the table name as inside the constructor we have successfully initialized this variable with the table name now just collapse this construct function now insert into table and let's say set and inside this table we have user id name description and status so let's say that user underscore id it should be a placeholder next we have called name so copy this name column pasting it here placeholder next we have called description so copy pasting it here it should be a placeholder and finally we have called status so pasting it here and the next column we have created at it contains about the default current timestamp so we are going to pass only user id name description and status values so we have successfully written our query now we have to prepare that so let's say project underscore obj this should be something called this connection and prepare method now inside this prepare method, I am to pass this project query. Now finally, we need to sanitize our input variables. So to check our available variables, if we go to the top, now this is something user ID, project name, description and status. So go here and let's say that we have called project underscore name. So we are going to use call HTML special cares. So HTML let's say special cares and inside this we are going to use another php function called strip underscore tags so this should be something strip underscore tags now inside this we are going to pass our variable called this and just copy the name and pasting it here so again if i copy and paste four three times this is all about our description section so something we have called description variable and finally we have our status variable so all we have to store inside the variable name called let's say description this is all about we have called status column now finally we need to bind our parameters so if i write a single line comment so this would be something sanitize input variables 
and then we are going to bind our parameters so here again if I line type something single line comment so bind let's say parameters so this should be something of a variable means object that we have created something called project obj and this contain about a method called bind param and inside this as we know that if we back to table so user id is an integer value name description and status all contains a let's say varga type value so here for integer value i'm going to type call integer for i as for a string and three times because this is for user id name description and for the status now finally we have to pass our variable name so this user id this user id we have declared at the topmost position as we can see here now the next variables we have called next we have called the name so this should be project name next we have called description and finally we have called status so successfully we have done all the needed things finally we need to execute this query so let's say project obj and we have to use called execute method so if query runs successfully then we are going to return the true value else we are going to return let's return false value now next we have to make a file inside v1 folder which calls this method to create our project so go inside v1 directory create a file and let's say that create project hyphen api dot php now inside this we need all the details that what we have passed as inside read data because we are going to use our post request type so back to read data dot php and if i copy these two lines after declaring php tag define these lines and we are going to include our headers so copy that and pasting to save our time and also we are going to include these two files to create our objects so here we have done and finally we need to include our objects so copy and go inside this file and pasting it here now all we have done about the basic structure of this file so for this API call we are going to pass some parameters inside body and our token inside header so we have to accept our parameters from two ways so firstly we are going to receive our parameters from body so if I press enter so let's say that this is our data something called JSON decode and let's say file get contains and inside this now here we are reading all the parameters from the body now for the JWT so let's say header headers and we are going to use called the PHP function called get all headers now it contains about authorization key that contains about JWT token so in the next video we will see that how can we collect all the data from the body as well as from the header and after successful validation we will save the project according to that respective user so inside this video session guys we have done about the method creation inside this users which is responsible to create our project and save inside our database table also we have made a file and inside that file we are collecting the data from body as well as from the header so inside this video if you went out then please drop your comment i will give my reply as soon as possible so for this video session guys thank you for watching and have a great day